Bleibst du einmal oder? Nicht so. Alter, oh ja, Respekt, das hat mich übelst runtergeprügelt. Ja, mit dem einen werden wir schon auch noch Probleme bekommen mit dem mit dem einem Jäger da. Okay. Live Boy. Guten Tag, wie geht's? Darf ich helfen? Darf ich ein paar auf die da darf ich ein paar in die Fresse empfehlen? Ist mir total gerecht heute. Ich wollte auch die da hinten haben, aber ja, sag mal, doch. Oh, ob der willst. Ja, ernsthaft, ja, ist ernsthaft, leider. Aber kann man gar nicht, das geht, Alter, aber... Leute, so... Hilft schon mal. 5, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, Ist doch mal okay. Jetzt, ich, jetzt wir haben wir so oft bin tot oder nee. What the fuck? Goal. So eine Falle, Alter. Ha, ist er hat extra gemacht, wollte mich damit den Weg umbringen. Ist ernsthaft? Lol, das trifft, Alter. Das ich noch niemals treffen können. Ist lächerlich, ganz ehrlich, wie soll ich das denn ausweichen, wenn er neben mir schon auf einmal jumpt er. Wie? Okay. Ja, natürlich. Klar, jetzt natürlich noch den letzten Schlag noch. Na klar, na klar. Ist in Ordnung. Darf ich? Ich würde auch ganz gerne weiterspielen. Ach, warte. Ja, mh, das Ding
Oh, Alter. Du meinst mal nicht mal aus, wenn wir kämpfen, ne? Das denke ich mir nur. Sicher nicht. Haben wir einfach echt, also. Hallo, wer bist du denn? Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Do you need medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. You'll quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. What are you investigating, exactly? I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person, Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. What are you investing? Tell what do you have any? No. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, especially when there's a killer on the loose. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with a civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard. Investigating suspicious cases in the area. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply work to rule on their patrols. Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Mm. Wir waren Kevin McCallum noch mal. Ach, mehr will ich mal. I'd like to report a name, Inspector. Jeffrey McCullum. I'm afraid he's some sort of vigilante trying to recruit an army of angry citizens. Then I'll write the name down and transmit this intelligence to the appropriate office. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Mm. 
Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Mm -hmm. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? No, I'm not. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand concerning crucial questions. Don't you think? What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? waiting for exactly the more I think about it the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for but what else could it be then I don't know a feeling an event an impulse how can I tell something that would allow us to leave this trap I'm afraid I'm not following you what kind of trap are you talking about have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you that you're not in your place. That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Gut, dann können wir sie ja mal beobachten. We should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Anywhere. Anywhere that isn't here. And what is that, by the way? A safer place? A less strange place? And where would that be? Life is strange. And we are alive. For now, yes. But for how long? If we decided to flee, we should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Ah, uh, good.
Mhm. Komm, wenn wir was machen. Fuck. Ich glaube, hier müsste das sein. Dawson, genau. Dawson's Mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains: Am I ready? Oh. Ready to make a dying man my project? Anwohner nach Dawson fragen. Hm. Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. Ja, da First wirst du of all, Zeit haben. I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Sir, I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold, so cold. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. I will be... Well... You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hand. What do you know about the Guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Then Malos. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones.
Es gibt ihnen das Recht zu entscheiden. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes. It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated as soon as they are spotted. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Ah. Kann ich jetzt verwandeln oder aussaugen? Ich will ihn nicht verwandeln. Ich verwandle ihn nicht. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep. Rest now, forever. I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Cool. Okay. Ach komm. In alten Sack hat er keiner mehr gebraucht. <lacht> nee, ganz ehrlich, ich mach doch keinen Vampir. Und ich, ich, ich muss ihn ausschalten. Es ging jetzt nicht um die EP oder so, aber ich kann halt nicht zum Vampir machen. Warum? Das ist halt. Äh, ich will es auslöschen, ich will es ja nicht verbreiten. Dabei, äh, ist mir scheißegal, was Red Redgrave davon hält. Ich glaube jetzt. Ich, ich, also ich bin der Meinung. Na ah, geil. Mal bekommen. Eine Schraube, oh, der hat gelohnt. Ähm, nein, also ich, ähm, ich, ich will niemals irgendjemanden verwandeln. Da ist ja der Lot, der Lot ist da. Ah, aber es ist schon geil, dass wir ein bisschen entspannt ist, das Game, das hilft wirklich. Ich will auch, ich will auch nicht so rumschreien, aber manchmal denke ich dann auch so... Nein, ich will mich davon ja auch versuchen zu distanzieren, ne? vom, vom Schreien einfach. Weil es sich ja auch nicht so schön anhört, ne? Aber manchmal bei solchen Szenen. Cool. 
Ja, ich hab alles. 500 Jelly. Danke. Okay. Hey Lord. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? Aber er ist nicht ehrlich, er ist doof. Er hat die Prozedur nicht überlebt. Er survive the procedure. He was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Who's? Step away, traitor. Return to you. 